How's it going, everybody? I'm Matt Sagala. Welcome back to the Abyss. I got a little CDN record slash Morbin Records update for you, so stick around. Let's see what we got. All right, so the first one I want to show is um, Bloodless Child's Dead Awake. This is kind of a thrashy death metal band out of Ontario, Canada. Um, they put everything out themselves. They don't, they're unsigned, they're independent. Um, CDN does seem to carry a few other things. As you can see, it's just kind of a, just a slip case. Nothing, nothing fancy. Uh, nothing on the inside of the, the paper, just, just the uh, album art, which is actually pretty good. And I like the logo. And the, the artwork is pretty killer. Um, and of course, you got the album. I had never heard of these guys until I did the, uh, the last CDN sale, the two for two and the three for three that they got going on. But, uh, or buy three, get three, and buy two, get two sales they have going on. Um, but yeah, it's really good. It's just good death metal. I mean, there's no beating around the bush. Uh, it's straightforward. has a few melodic parts, you know, some some decent uh, lead guitar work. I uh, really like the vocals, though. I think that's what's selling me on these guys. So I'm definitely going to pick up some more from them at some point. But uh, yeah, if you want to like trashy and thrashy death metal band, check out Bloodless Child. Um, they, uh, I believe they still have this on CDN. So yeah, go check them out. All right, so moving along, uh, big shout out to Black Metal Rebellion. He got, I saw this uh, album and well, sorry, this band. I'm not sure if it was this album or not um, in one of his collection updates. But yeah, I saw this on there and figured I'd grab it. This is the 2018 release from Gortuary. It's a divine indigenous sacrament. Uh, they're, uh, they're out of California here in the States. They are just a crazy, heavy, brutal, brutal death metal band. Uh, really good vocals, just pounding drums. Uh, the guitar work is, in my opinion, the, the selling point of the uh, the album. Uh, the leads are fantastic. The rhythms are really catchy and just brutal and punchy. Uh, yeah, so it's really good. I'm definitely gonna, definitely glad I saw this on his channel. Definitely gonna go back and start getting some of their other releases. Uh, yeah, this is their 2018. Like I said, Divine Indigenous Sacrament, just killer brutal death metal. A little bit on the tech side. But yeah, very good. I think definitely so far, I have to say Deities of Disease track three is probably my favorite one. Man, that, that track just rips. It just beats the hell out of you, but it leaves you wanting more. So yeah, go check out Portuary. All right, so next up from CDN, this is the 2018 release from Fecalizer, and the album is Fecal Inferno. Um, these guys are from Mexico, and they're just a killer, brutal death, you know, kind of grind, grindcore at times. Uh, I love that album art. It's a flaming piece of shit there. Got some chunks in it. That's pretty funny. But yeah, these guys are pretty killer. Like I said, they're just, you just like any kind of brutal death metal. I'd definitely recommend them. Um, recently picked up one of their compilations, The Wonder Shits. Uh, which is, you know, turned me on to this band a little more. But yeah, um, this one follows right along with everything else they release. It's fast, it's brutal. Um, and it's, it's just fantastic. Um, I'm glad I kind of found these guys recently. Um, again, thanks to Black Metal Rebellion for you know talking up CD and records so much. And here I'll probably order five or six big orders from them this year. But yeah, Fecalizer, uh, like I said, Mexican brutal death metal. Can't go wrong. Uh, just it's punishing to listen to, and it's fantastic. Um, please go uh, check this album out on CDN, and you know pick it up if you like what you hear and support these bands. So let's see what else we got. All right, so this next one I was super stoked about. Uh, probably a good chance this one's going to be on like a top 10 list for 2018. I'm enjoying it that much so far. Um, it came with a sticker. Uh, it was pretty cool. You can see there. And then the actual album. This is The Blood of Christ with uh, obviously their 2018 release, Unrelenting Declivity of Anguish. Um, so it's anthology number four on it. Uh, some of the best death metal I've heard in a while, to be honest with you. Um, the drums are absolutely spot on, perfect, just pounding drums. Um, the double kick on this album was mixed perfectly, man. It just, just you can just feel it in your gut. Um, the guitars, super detuned, really low, chuggy, just ripping riffs, man. Um, they're most of them are pretty memorable, um, and the, the the mix is just thrown together so well. Um, it just, it just sounds perfect when you're listening to it. And the vocals, man, dude's really low, deep guttural, just old school style of vocals. Um, 
over a very good modern death metal mix. So yeah, I highly recommend the Blood of Christ. Uh, I read that you know the, the Blood of Christ is technically Blood of Christ, but they left the though on there. I guess they've changed the name a couple times back and forth. I'm not really sure what that's all about. But yeah, it's really good. Um, it says on the inside of the spine. I don't know if you can see that. Purveyors of epic dark metal. Um, but yeah, like I said, definitely going to be, if I do a death metal list, this is probably going to be number one, number two. But all albums, it's definitely going to make the top ten. Uh, yeah, Blood of Christ. Head on over to CDN and check this out. 2018, great stuff. All right, the next one here is the 2015 release from Veld. With uh, Daemonic. Um, it's also underneath there it says um, the art of dantillation or dantillion sorry <laughs> I'm retarded um, yeah pretty good artwork uh, you got kind of goes on both sides of the disc there um, disc artwork itself is pretty cool kind of that Necronomicon sigil thing um, yeah and these guys are just I believe they're from Poland um, yeah, look at that artwork. A little baby with some nails blasted into its head. And you can see that's also what's on the cover there. Um, pretty sweet. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, the really good death metal, kind of the, the black and death genre, I, I, I would guess you would put them in. Um, really good. Uh, the guitars are fantastic again. Really good vocals. Um, I had heard of this band a hundred times, but I never actually purchased anything by them. But yeah, this is uh, some more good artwork. I don't think I showed that one. Um, but yeah, just fantastic stuff. I mean, at times you get kind of a, a behemoth feel, and then it goes more into a traditional death metal, and then you know it kind of bounces around a little bit. I think that's what I like about this. It, some good tempo changes, things like that. It doesn't nail itself into one, one corner of death metal, but yeah, it's pretty good. Definitely going to look around and pick up some more of theirs. I think they just released one this year. Um, Sin, I think it's called, actually. So I'm definitely going to go try to get a hold of that thing. We have Veld, and that's Daemonic. Uh, definitely go check this one out. Uh, guys, I apologize. I know my voice probably sounds weird. I'm slurring a lot of a lot of letters. I just had some emergency dental stuff done uh, last night. So not feeling so hot, but I uh, definitely wanted to get this video out there. Um, a couple more to show, and then I have a special thing from Morbid Records that I want to do. So, yeah, stick around, and we'll see what else we got. All right, so this next one was a band I actually never heard of before. Um, I kind of read the description on CDN, and I kind of liked what I was seeing, like Celtic theme, like epic, um, melodic, you know, death slash folk power. I mean, so many different genres packed in there in the themes. I know myself coming from Scottish ancestry, thought it sounded kind of cool. So there's Battle Soul with Sunward and Starward. And very atmospheric art. Um, and I don't know how well that shows up. It's kind of hazy, like a foggy forest on one side, the waterfall and the cliff face on the other. This was on the front, and <laughs> this album was killer. Like I said, there's a little bit of power metal. There's some folk metal. There's some melodic stuff. There's some death metal-y parts. You know, a couple black metal elements here and there. But yeah, overall, this album was kind of a kind of a shock and. You know, I definitely want to give it a few more listens before I really, you know, make a make my full opinion on it. But so far, as it's been a pleasant listen. Um, this one did come with a sticker as well. Most CDN titles um, do get a sticker when they get released. Um, but yeah, Battle Soul, a Celtic themed power black death melodic, <laughs> just everything and, and so many different styles rolled up into this. Really good, really good rhythms, leads, you know, the drums, vocals, everything are just so wonderfully mixed on this. So, yeah, if you haven't listened to Battle Slaw, maybe go check them out if you're a fan of just metal in general, as they, they just wrap so many styles up into their sound. It's it's pretty impressive. But, yeah, that's Battle Soul with Sunward and Starward 2018 CDN Records. Go check that one out. All right, so we're down to the last... Uh, part of this um, collection update. Like I said, it's going to be a Morbid Records piece. Uh, the rest of that was all stuff I ordered from CDN. I don't know if you remember a, a ways back I did an update with uh, Varden uh, box set um, Nostalgia Archives of Failure Volume 1, I believe it was called. Yeah, it's just a you know a little box and it had some cool stuff in it like the Go Kill Yourself pamphlet. It had three CDs, you know, some stickers, patches, that kind of stuff. Um, really cool stuff um and i've enjoyed the album so much and 
I was happy to see that also released this year, um, volume two of that, which has the last three CDs as well as some other items. So like I said, last time we had cool stuff in here, um, the pamphlet was just absolutely hysterical to me, but so we'll see what's inside this one. This is volume, um, Archives of Failure, parts four through six, three CD limited box set, and it's limited to 300. Really good, solid wooden box, nice little hasp. And as always, filled with all kinds of goodies. So let's see what's in this thing. Right off the top, you have uh, From the Pale Moonlight, Varden album patch. So you got album artwork for that one. Uh, man, I need to get a better camera, this thing's garbage. Um, yeah, so pretty cool patch. I don't know. I probably won't put this on my vest, but uh, maybe do a future give giveaways or something like that if anybody else out there enjoys Varden the way I do. Maybe I'll hang on to that maybe for a giveaway in the future if I ever hit, you know, 50, 100 subs, something like that. Uh, well, this is cool. So adding to the pin collection, I just got some cool ones from the Metalhead box. Um, if anybody has seen those, the three pins, those are pretty cool. I've got some other ones laying around, but yeah, so it's cool to get a Varden logo pin. It's just, you know, a Baphomet pentagram with the Varden name across the front. It's the, uh, the same logo on the front of the box, just on a high polished pin. So it's very cool, very hard to see without glaring it out. Yeah, that's a really cool piece there. Definitely going to find a place to put that. Uh, i got a couple more Varden stickers. Probably uh, put these in for a give up. Uh, like if I give the patch to somebody, I'll probably float these as well. Um, I got two or three in the last one, and then I got one with another Varden CD that I ordered previously. So don't really need these, but they're cool. Uh, they're like, they're like see-through except for the artwork, so really neat. So... Again, if I give that patch to anyone, I'll probably eventually float those as well. <laughs> so this is funny. So last time we had the, the Go Kill Yourself pamphlet, and this time he's giving you a little assistance on how to do it. It's a pro depressants, poison pills. I don't, hopefully I can get that to focus a little bit. There you go. So pro depressant poison pills. It's a little, little packet of pills. <laughs> Oh, Morbin Records and Varden do not advocate. So yeah, it says on the back basically, don't fucking kill yourself, but still pretty funny. Um, pretty funny. It says on the back, remember kitty, Satan, not suicide, but I'm definitely going to put that up somewhere, probably right next to the pamphlet. Maybe hang it right next to that, so that's pretty cool. Um, and the last three things in here are the albums. Like I said, his albums are a little bit different, uh, at least some of these Archives of Failure series. Um, you know, two, three, four tracks at the most per album, but, you know, these tracks are 10, 15, 20 minutes long. So, I mean, it's still a full length. So, yeah, the first one, you know, Nostalgia Archives of Failure. This is part four. Um, artwork pretty much in line with everything else he does. A lot of scenic photographs, you know, flip to the negative side. Um pretty cool. Um, yeah, and in, early on in his career, he was more of a straight up black metal. Uh, but now, um, over the years, he's kind of gone more, you know, depressive. <laughs> the picture on the other side is just a picture of a dead owl laying on the ground. Pretty cool. Uh, more of a, a depressive black metal vibe, but he mixes different stuff in there. Some songs are very doom inspired. Um, some songs are just faster, you know, more like second wave style, but you know, he, I really enjoy the variety with him and his vocals are, are just sweet. So here's a uh, part five, You've got some candles and stuff there. See like a dilapidated building in the background. This one has three tracks and like I said, track two is 22 minutes long. But yeah, these are all, all his music I believe is released on Morbid Records. It's a one man band out of um, Italy from Sicily. And man, this guy puts out so many albums. Like I said, he's got probably 20 full lengths, and he's released all three of these Nostalgia series. And I think he just released another one this year, so a lot of 2018 stuff. And there's the last one, part six. You got a nice little snowy landscape there. Again, this one's three tracks. Uh, 
10 minutes, 15 minutes, and 13 minutes, so you're still getting a lot of a lot of jams there. Um, just killer stuff. Like I said, I, I wouldn't be buying all these box sets and stuff like that if I didn't believe in the music, and uh, I think he's top quality when it comes to black metal, and, and I know well, some people in these love him or hate him, but yeah, so that's it. You got the, uh, the last three discs and then the Archives of Failure series. We got the pin. The suicide pro depressant pills. The uh, two stickers. And the Pale Moonlight Varden album cover patch. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this one there, guys. Again, thanks for bearing with me. I know, you know, I'm not very animated and my voice is kind of jacked up with uh with this dental work, but uh I appreciate the guys watching. Hey, like and subscribe if you enjoy anything on this channel, and there'll be more to come, trust me. Hails and horns, everybody. We'll see you soon.